out of this trip that's irking the Japanese. There hasn't been even a telephone conversation between you and Prime Minister Fukuda. Kevin Rudd admits he hasn't yet spoken to the leader of Australia's largest export market. There are a number of uh, foreign heads of government with whom I've not had um, telephone contact. That admission will give oxygen to a gripe the opposition's had about this journey from the outset. Japan is a democracy, an ally of the United States, Australia's largest destination for exports, and we've got a few things to talk to Prime Minister Fukuda about in relation to whaling, for example. Therese Rain was talking to the founders of Common Ground. She's agreed to be the Australian patron of an organisation that's had great success in getting the homeless off the streets. The Times Square headquarters is littered with moving testimonies. A solid foundation which I can rebuild my life. Less impressive is the glacial pace of UN talks on securing a post-Kyoto agreement on climate change. Progress so far is um, too slow. Uh, but uh, we've still got time to uh, turn the corner. The Prime Minister's pilgrimage to the United Nations is a sign that he wants Australia to become more involved in the councils of the world. But like Times Square, those councils are often a confusion of conflicting messages. Chris Yulman, ABC News, New York.